Well, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So, this video is going to focus on a new game. Like, I'm not sure how new the game is, but my friends actually asked me to play this horror game, The Beast Inside. It's a game on Steam and it's not even that expensive. It's uh, in South Africa, it's 150 Rand, which is extremely cheap. And the download size is about 11.2 gig, which is quite good. Now, I don't even know about this game. Um, I recently was sent a link by one of my friends to check it out. So, uh, they want me to play the game for them so that I can see what it's like. And because I love horror and horror games, it seems like it could be scary enough. And I do not scare easily. Anyway, I'm going to take the chance now. We're going to go on, do a chapter, and probably finish the game in the next couple of weeks. Um, so, let's check it out and see what it's like. Okay, so here we go. This is then The Beast Inside. And uh, I've already gone into the game and I have um, set the uh, options. I've got everything on ultra high settings. And there's a door opening. So um, I've switched off the lights in my room, so you can only see the lights from the monitor on my face. Uh, but it looks like you can at least see me quite good. So let's get into this. Let me just move my stuff around here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, ah, adventure. For those who want to know the story, standard, balanced level of puzzles and action limits. Beast. For those who want bigger challenges. I'm an adventure type of guy. Let's just go for the story. Chapter 1 The Beginning. Press any key. Where? Where am I? Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. What war? No, there is no war. We're just... We're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you've ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am Okay. One week earlier. It's like one of those movies where you come in at the end and then you have to the sweet backtrack of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we could use. Doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents and you should appreciate it. It's a big house. Take a look! 
Oh, it looks even better than the photos. Well, our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away when you give orders from the shower. Three-hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Such a rusted car. Okay, shall we take a look around? This guy definitely doesn't have money. His car is rusted. Although it's nicely polished, the graphics looks quite decent enough. Not like triple A standard, but it's good enough. We've got a well that's closed up. Uh, hmm. The ground looks good though. That's not too bad. It's quite playable. Nice place to sit and relax. Fish pond. There's probably maybe some coins in here. Or trout or something. At least you can pretend to fish from here. Let's go Why do Americans always have the nicest, biggest houses? For the cheapest prices, honestly. Compared to our prices here in SA. This house would cost me maybe 4 million rand. And it looks like a shed out there. All in all, not a bad place. Also, I wouldn't mind living here for a weekend. Just like a getaway. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Not bad at all. Shall we go in? See what uh, is waiting for us. Press tab to check the voice recorder. Adam uses the voice recorder to record conversations and his thoughts on the current convent. Press space to continue. Okay, so we can rotate it all about. Okay. Emma, honey, don't you just send out those boxes can carry them as well? Okay. I mean, I have to go carry the boxes in myself. Oh, well, let's go into the house. Gotta get those boxes inside. Oh, okay, you actually have to move the mouse to push the door open. Okay. Okay, I didn't have to rotate the So you actually have to hold the mouse and use the same motion you would use normally when carrying a real box. Well, that's something interesting at least. Something different at least. And where's the table upstairs? Not this table. First of all, let me quickly see you. Come join me in the shower. I paid those bastards in advance, so of course I didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. You can't trust anyone these days. 
Sun, Simon and Sons. Custom name, blah blah blah. So it's just a bunch of bullshit. Okay. So I guess so I didn't specify which tab we did. Go hook to going attic stairs. Let's take this. Oh right, she locks the bathroom. What man is not allowed to see his wife when she's in the bathroom? I guess the game developers knew that everyone would try and peek, uh, sneak a peek, you know. Okay. I need to find the key. Okay. So, the question remains. Where the hell am I supposed to put the boxes? Okay, let's go and get the other boxes. I guess the boxes were supposed to go to this table. That's nice. Now where the f fuck is all the boxes? Okay. Eh. Nah, cigarettes. Who's smoking? For all you smokers out there that's in lockdown, I got a pack of cigarettes. Okay. box is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Really? I carried in four boxes and he puts one down and that's good enough. Really? Okay. Go to the attic. Uh, <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. Mom, the baby hears everything. Even in the womb. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. Oh, sure. The dining room should be down here. Definitely not in there because the door is closed. So this must be the dining room. And there's some drawers there. As if there was one drawer. But it says left mouse button and pull or push with the mouse to open the door. Drawers, containers. Nope, nothing in here. I can't find it in the dining room! Oh! Sorry, I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Ah, <sighs> typical. And she wasn't even blonde. Okay, right, where the fuck's the car keys now? Good. Take. G. 
see was ten. Why do these houses always have an attic or a basement? Because that's where all the shit always happens. You guys know what? If people don't want to have ghosts in your house, don't have an attic and don't have a basement and you'll be safe. For some reason, that's where the ghosts like to be. Too many secrets in this house. Too many locked rooms. Uh -huh. What do we have here? Grandma's old liquor. Here's another one. An angel looks like he's sleeping, but he might as well be dead. Poor guy. Life has been rough on him. How long has he laid here? Probably like for like a century right, to, to find a hidden message. Is that that? And he says, someone must have hit him really hard to make his legs fall off. Wait, is that blood or paint? Well, you can always do the taste test. If it looks like blood, it smells like blood, it tastes like blood, it must be blood. Okay, we'll go through everything a bit later. Hmm. Examine. <sighs> Dancing couple figurines rotated in message. I wonder who they belong to, grandma or someone else. Did you guys see any hidden messages? Because I saw absolutely fuck all. Anyway. Oh yeah, he was looking for paint now. Paint, 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 paint. What's this? Spray paint, but I don't think this is the paint that we're talking about. That's not TV. Uh some silver. Aha, the number one monster fighting tool, thanks to Half-Life, a crowbar. Good for killing zombies, monsters, and opening up some shit. Okay. Well, I didn't see any, ah, here we go. Damn it. Hmm, what's that? A floorboard. Come on, out of the way. A loose plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. Okay, how to move this now? Yes, yeah, how to move this mouse to get this thing. There we go. What could it be? A treasure? Hope it's not great grandpa's. Isn't this how most ghost stories start? People go looking at stuff they're not supposed to, finding a book, reciting a spell, and then all shit breaks loose. Normally it's the woman that makes the shit. I cannot believe I'm doing this. An expert from Julius Caesar. Uh, excerpt from Julius Caesar's comment commentaries on the Gaelic War 1. Remember this from my Latin classes. Some letters look different than others. Rotate to find the hidden message.
<laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker to... Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? Okay, so... J equals C, Julius Caesar initials. But why did someone write that they were equal? J equals C, M equals F. Okay, now, if I'm clever enough for this puzzle, M equals F. So if the next one will be an M then, and J will be C. Okay. Let's see if I can open up the lock. Interaction with items. When the examination mode is on, you can perform additional interactions with certain objects. First, First, I'll put the letter J over C, then I should be able to decipher the others. It's probably about those distinguishing letters in Caesar's parchment. Oh, 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 okay. Sorry, my bad. Some characters in Caesar's letter look different. If I can find them all... M. H. P. O. That's definitely an O. If J equals C, then based on the letter, the first character in the cipher should be... What is across from... H? First, I'll put the letter J over C, then I should be able to decipher the others. It's probably about those distinguishing letters in Caesar's parchment. He's A. If A, then it's P. What letter do we have over P? P is I over P is I I okay over A First, I'll put the letter J over C, yeah, yeah, then I should yeah. be able to decipher the others. It's probably about those distinguishing letters in Caesar's parchment. Faith, really? And we got another key. An attic key. But what could you unlock with it? Well, we'll have to see. And an inventory. The property of Nicholas. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost. Okay, up to this far. We shall check chapter 2 a bit later. So far, nothing scary, nothing really happening. So, in chapter 2, it says, It is September 27th in the year of our Lord. 1864, evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memory. A chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, it makes it easier to distinguish fact from imagination. But we are going to stop it here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and then um, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, if you don't hit the bell icon, you won't get notified of any further developments in this game. P.S. I would just like to uh, notify you guys that since I love horror games and stuff, I've also started, I also started a podcast. Please go ahead and listen to the podcast. I'm busy reading Ghosts of Sussex. It's a book full of ghost stories and I'm doing some stories out of the book. 
and I will leave the link to the page below. You can get me on Spotify as well. Just go to Trip Zones Audiobooks and you will find me on uh, Spotify. So guys, thanks again. Speak to you later.